Hi Year 5, it's Kelly from Brawlstone, hope you're well and staying active at home. So today I have a PE challenge for you to help learn and practice some skills that we use in our PE lessons. Week 2's PE challenge, we are going to be working on our agility. Now, as you can see, I have two cones here, one at the back, one at the front. You can use your pair of shoes, you can use socks, you can use your cuddly toys, you could use tins of beans or soup, whatever you can find to help you. Okay, I'm going to break it down into three levels, an easy level, a medium level and a hard level. Level one. Now on level one, we are going to move forwards and backwards. So working on different types of movement. When we are moving, we need to make sure that we are stood on our tiptoes like this. Okay, because we can move faster and quicker than if we were flat footed. All right, so we're going to start on our toes. We are then going to move forwards, pumping our arms at the same time around the cone and then backwards to the blue cone. Okay, you have one minute to see how many times you can move forwards and backwards. Maybe ask your mum or dad if they can time you or ask a brother or sister if they can help you. So watch again. So we are going to move forwards, around the cone, backwards to the blue one and forwards again. Level two. Now I've put five cones in a straight line with a foot width gap in between each cone so I can fit my foot in between each gap. Now we are going to be working on our speed and on the agility which comes under the sport athletics. So all you're going to do to start with is stand behind the blue cone okay and you are going to step with on your tiptoes in between each cone. When you get to the end cone, the white cone, you are then going to come back to the blue cone and start again. Now we're going to do these in 30 second intervals. So the first one is a step in between each cone. Okay, and then back to the start. How many of them can you do in 30 seconds? The next one, can we turn sideways? So our shoulder is going to be in line with the cones and then we are going to step over sideways for 30 seconds, see how many of them we can do and back to the beginning. The next one, can we jump two footed? So we're going to be on our toes and can we jump in between the cones and then run back to the start. So that's three different tasks, 30 seconds on each one, See how many times you can go up and back to the start in 30 seconds. Level three. Now on level three, I've put the cones in a zigzag shape. Now, when we're running, we don't always run in a straight line. Sometimes we might have to run sideways, sometimes we might have to run backwards. Now you're gonna start at the blue cone and then you are going to move sideways and touch the yellow cone, then sideways again, touch the red cone, sideways again, touch the green cone, sideways again, touch the white cone, and then you are going to move backwards to the start again. Okay, so have a watch. So you are going to move sideways, touch the yellow cone, sideways again, touch the red, sideways again, touch the green, sideways, touch the white, and then backwards to the blue cone. Now, if you've got a big space, you can make the cones wider, or if it's a nice day and it's not raining, you could probably do this in the garden. So you've got one minute to see how many side steps you can do to each cone. So every time you go to the yellow, red, green, white, that's one point. Come back to the start, start again, see how many points you can get in one minute. If you want to challenge yourself further by working on your reactions, you can ask your mum or dad or carer or brother or sister if they can shout out colours when you're trying to touch as many cones in a minute. Okay, now 
So you stand in the middle, like the last time, and your carer or parent will shout a colour. So if they shout blue, you have to touch the blue cone as quick as you can back to the middle. If they then shout the colour green, you then touch green and back to the middle as quick as you can. So we're working on your reactions, seeing how fast you can move and react to the colour that is being called. Have a go. One minute, see how many cones you can touch. Have fun trying our PE challenge this week. When you try your challenge for the first time, make sure you write down your score. Keep practicing during the week to see